Hello everyone and welcome to our class today on mindfulness and weight loss. I'm Harrison Graves, your host. In today's class, I'd like to share with you three mindfulness tips that can help you lose weight. Not by some new diet or deprivation, but by shifting your focus, your awareness, away from counting calories and toward experiencing how food makes you feel. And I'll explain more about that one later. So what do you normally think of when you hear the word mindfulness? Is it stress reduction? Better sleep? Present moment awareness? Yes, all of the above. All of the above are benefits of a mindful lifestyle. But did you know that if you're struggling with weight loss, mindfulness can be a tool to help you achieve a healthier weight? So here we go. Let's go straight to our first mindful tip of the day. Eating without distractions. Now distractions are the opposite of mindfulness. And they play a big part not only in how much we eat, but also in what we eat. For example, if we're watching TV at the same time we're eating, our attention is automatically divided and we're more likely to become unaware of how much we're eating, and sometimes even of what we're eating. On the other hand, with mindful eating, eating with present moment awareness, your full attention is on the food and also the eating experience, like the smell of the food, its color, its taste, its texture. You can savor each delicious bite and enjoy food more when you eat it mindfully, with awareness, with your full attention. With mindful eating, you'll naturally make better food choices, and you'll feel good that you're nourishing yourself and taking good care of your body. Mindful tip number two is ask yourself why. Because an important part of mindful eating is understanding why you're eating. So, be curious. Ask yourself, am I really hungry? Or am I just eating for some other reason? Maybe just because the clock says it's mealtime. Or because I need some comfort food. Or because I'm low energy or bored or tired. So, eat with awareness, mindfulness, and that will help you eat just when you're hungry and will also help you stop eating when you're full. Tip number three is a cup of tea. Now, don't roll your eyes at this one until you've given it a try. In the afternoons, if you're craving indulging in something, reach for a healthy and delicious cup of tea, because the urge to eat is sometimes more of an urge for pleasure, the pleasure of eating and drinking all by itself, or the pleasure of sharing a meal. So treat yourself to the pleasure of holding a warm cup of tea in your hands. Make it a healthy green tea for its antioxidants, or a hibiscus tea for its intense flavor. Or try peppermint or black tea for a big boost of energy. Make it fun, make it a ritual as you boil the water, steep the tea, maybe add a little honey or milk. Then, Sip it slowly, mindfully, and savor its flavor. So just to review, in today's class we learned three mindfulness tips for a healthier weight. Number one, eat without distractions. Focus your mind fully on the eating process, the eating experience, and how the food tastes and how it makes you feel. Tip number two is ask yourself why. Be curious. Are you eating because you're truly hungry or low energy or tired? And tip number three is a cup of tea. A delicious, healthy tea as a locale substitute for an afternoon snack. Well, that's it for today's class. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great day. Please be good enough to leave me a kind review. And if you'd like to learn more, please do visit my website, harrisongravesmd.com. 
I'm an ER doctor who loves teaching meditation and mantra. Namaste.